G'day, Vlad the Impaler of your mum here. So I'm testing out a new microphone setting today, so please let me know if the sound is better or worse. So today I'm going to be entering the game with the intention of doing a petard rush. I've skipped to feudal so we can get to the action which will start in Castle Age. So as you can see, my Frank opponent is mining a lot of stone, but I don't know that. So he's also planning a castle drop, which I somewhat expected. I was hoping to get there first. And I'm going to do the same with the poles. So I've already got about 600 stone, and I usually plan on dropping the castle at about halfway to castle age. So I've reached about halfway, so off I go. And... What do you know? Look at that. So I'm being castle dropped, and he's got... 7 villagers, I've got 12. So he's got a bit of a head start on me. Let's see who gets the upper hand, who gets the castle up first. Well, it's going to be close. Ah, I got him. There we go. <laughs> that was a nice little start for me, taking out a few bills on the castle drop. And then from then on out, I'll be sending my bills around here. She can kill that wolf. Peter won't mind. They don't need to know. And I'll mine stone there. So when I reach Castle Age, I usually build an extra TC on Arena. And it looks like he's done the same, except for he's building three TC straight away. So what I'm doing here is rather than petard rushing him, I'm going to build petards with the aim of taking that castle down. So we'll see that, that happen. See if it succeeds or not. Got seven, that's almost enough. Eight, that's almost enough to take it down. Nine, boom, <laughs> there goes that castle. So I castle dropped in front of him to kill some veals, then I take out that castle. Things are going pretty well for me. He's building a Ford Barracks. Now, what's that for? Is he just building it so he can build stables at home? So what I was anticipating with this game was for him to go for a lot of knights, which wouldn't have mattered if I got the castle dropped in and petard rushed him. But Frankish Paladin's actually pretty hard for the Poles to deal with, because the Poles do not have Paladin of their own. I think their Cavalier are missing an armor upgrade, I'm not really sure. I just get all the upgrades, so I don't pay too much attention if they're missing one or not. And they don't have pikemen, and they don't have camels. They've got monks, but I'm not very good at using monks. Most people at about a thousand elo aren't that great with using monks. So that aspect of it went to me. I'll put it on triple fast forward. What's he building here? So he's building another castle. Um, the veal count is, I'm on 60 veals, he's on 46, despite having more town centres. But well, I've built a town centre out there. One, two, three. Actually, I've got more town centres now. I've got four town centres to his three. So, I'm building four veals at a time. He's going up to Imperial Age. He's, in fact, he's almost at Imperial Age, and I haven't even clicked to research it. So he's going to get a significant lead going into Imperial Age much faster than me. But I've got 87 villages to his 58, which is quite a significant lead. Alright, so I'm just booming like crazy here. Got all these farms. Got 26 farms. 33 farms to his, ooh, wrong button, 24, so I'm going to have a lot more food than him. He's building three stables, no doubt for Paladin. And I'm 
I've got one stable, and I think that's just to get my light cap upgrades. Look at these slackers, bunch of council workers. Come on guys, it's not time for a smoke or you get back to work. Alright. Three stables. He's getting his cavalier upgrade and his husbandry upgrade. Alright, so let me see. He's got an army of just his starting scout. And I've just got some leftover ore box from when I was trying to clear up his castle earlier. I think I might have accidentally clicked them. Put it back on triple speed. So he's starting to get some cavalier out. It's a good move. So he's got some cavalier. He's in Imperial Age. What he should be doing is getting a treb out and trebbing me. He's pop capped at 90. And just in terms of villages, I've got 113 to his 81. So I've still got a massive villager lead. And he hasn't made any move. So with my eco being so much more superior than his, he's really got to be trebbing me down or doing something now. I'm getting my Eco upgrades and my Blacksmith upgrades and my Wing Tassar upgrade. So if he doesn't move now, I might just destroy him just using my superior Eco. So I've got Eco here, and I've got Eco there. That way if he breaks in and starts destroying stuff inside my walls, he then has to go all the way out and around to destroy my side Ecos. And I've got enough TCs that I don't mind if I lose a lot of villagers. So he started raiding me, he's finally started to attack. He's got an army of 24 paladins. And at this point, I've got an army of 30 wing tassar. So his army is a lot stronger, but mine does not cost gold. All right, let's see how this pans out. He's killing villagers, which I just plan on replacing later, and he's killing trash units. I'm not really killing too many paladins, but I'm damaging them. So he should clear that up alright. Um, he's building more paladins over here. He's going to stream them in there. He probably thinks like he's doing a bit of damage on me killing these villagers, but really... I just take villages from wood and put them there later. There's not no skin off my back. Um, what I'm really concerned about is him getting into my main eco and him destroying my castles and my defensive buildings. So he's got a treb out. He's going to start trebbing that building there. I send in my Hussars. I think I was trying to take out that Treb, but it just didn't work. So if we look at the kills to death, I've killed 29 of his units. Uh, he's killed 73 of mine. So he's smashing me in the kill to deaths. He's taking out a castle. But he hasn't done any real damage. Like, I'm not concerned. He's now outnumbering me with paladins, I think. I've got 26 military units. And he has 27 paladins, a treb, and a scout. He's destroying my fallwork. At this point, he's really got to be pushing, so he can't just be attacking his fallwork. He needs to unpack these move them here and start doing real damage, taking out houses and my inner eco. He's really got to go for the kill, otherwise my eco is just going to destroy him. Got 34 paladins and they're coming up against about 31 light cav. So I'm slowly taking out a few paladins and his paladin upgrade was so expensive 
also he he doesn't have a never ending supply of gold. So he can't afford to keep losing paladins. He's really got got to go in for the kill because his trash is also lackluster. All right, so the the kill count is going more and more in his favor. I mean, 52 to 140 odd. So the kill counts going in his favor, and yet he's not really doing anything devastating. He hasn't really made any inroads. I've replaced most of my farmers over here. He's decided to come over here, so he's diving in with the paladins. And he's going to kill some bills, which I'm just going to replace later anyway. So as, as long as he doesn't kill too many at once, I'm fine. This raid is far from devastating. And I've mixed in a few cavalier here with my, my light cav just to fluff it out a bit. Really, I don't care about his raid. It's just not damaging. <laughs> uh, well, He's building another Ford castle. This is a little bit more concerning, so I don't want him to have too much access to these golds. Now he needs to be adding some halbs in maybe. That would do a lot of damage to me. But he can't afford the 600 gold, he'd rather just spend it on paladins. Alrighty, so this castle is going to go up. And his army of 27 paladins is actually not looking that great against my army of 43 cavalry. So I'm fighting him under his castle. I just want to get his paladin numbers down. That's all my goal is. I just want to rope-a-dope him, take him out of gold, and then see where we can go from there. So he's currently pretty much out of gold. This gold pile here is running low. His other gold pile must be gone. He's going to start getting gold from out here, which isn't very safe. So things are starting to not look good for him. He's sort of missed his chance to go in for the kill. With only 25 paladin. He's starting to add spears to the mix, which is a good idea. But here's his issue, he's building his spears right out here in the open. So if I send my light cav here, he won't be able to mass them properly. They'll just die before they get any type of mass. 23 units to 26. So I think he's missed his chance to go straight in for the kill. And now he's going to have to be a bit more tactical about how he goes about it. So again, I'm happy to fight under here. I'm happy to lose the trash units. Doesn't have enough spears to really threaten that. I just want to keep him robbed of gold. So here I'm trying to do a sneaky move. I'm trying to break open his wall. Just so I can go in for a raid. Which I wouldn't be able to do anyway, but I didn't know that. And he builds houses to block my petards and kills the rest of the Franks. That was very clever there, actually. But now he's got a house that's going to make his gold mining less efficient. But still a good move. Better than what I could have defended. Taking more fights under the castles just to thin out his gold units. He's starting to build quite a few barracks. Two, four, six, six barracks. But where they're situated, I, I don't know if I like that. If it was me, I would have built my barracks either here or here or in between these farms. Just so I could mass some pikes before they get taken out by the light cav. Here we go. More rope doping So I'm creating about... About 12... Wing Tassar at a time. He's also creating about 12 units, but they're pikes and paladins. They're not even halberdier. And he doesn't have a lot of gold left. So it's really starting to look poor for him. 11 units to 
34. Village account is 152 to 97, so he's just getting slaughtered pretty much by my eco at the moment. And these pikes or halbs or whatever they are that he's printing out now are dying before they can do anything. Alrighty, so I've got a treb, so I can start doing some damage of my own now. I've still got a lot of gold. I can still go into champions, which I think is what I'm aiming for. So I think I actually had um, some barracks that I was trying to build, but my villagers got stuck or I ran out of wood or something. It doesn't really matter at this point, because at this point I'm in a really strong position, just from my eco and from his decision to build his barracks on the outside. See, no chance for them to mass. They die as soon as they're created. Given my light cav die too, but I've got a lot of food coming in and they're easily replaced. There we go. So he's completely out of gold. He's not even mining it anymore. So it looks like I'm going to win here. I'll be honest, at this point I was just thinking, why is he not quitting? He's obviously got an indomitable spirit. He came across as a nice guy as far as I was concerned. So I don't think he was just trying to make my life hard. So I've got some champions in the mix now just to take out any halbs that might come. Surely enough, he got the halb upgrade. And... He's still winning the kill to deaths. It's 138 to 197. So he's killed a lot more units than I have. I've just got a super powered eco and the OP Winter Star with trample damage. <laughs> there we go. Sending his halbs right into my champion. Hussar mix, and at this point he's bound to resign soon. There we go, Winged Hussars are in his eco, and from here this is where I pretty much decided there's no pressure, I've completely won it. Now rather than just kill the farmers, what I like to do is I like to run some Hussars right to the back of the arena base, that way they can get any woodcutters that are free. <laughs> if only I knew they were on that side instead. And sometimes it draws their army to the back of their base which takes the pressure right off me. So over here I've got some champions near their barracks. Got Wintersar in his base. Now this is, I don't know what he's trying to say. Well played and he said what the fuck KK KK and then I replied 17. Which is, it is good to be king. But if anyone knows what WTFKKK means, please tell me. Uh, thanks for playing, Runu. It was a lot of fun. If you haven't already, please guys like and subscribe. And we'll just have a quick look at the stats. So, 426 kills to 258 units lost. So he absolutely killed me in the kills to deaths. I destroyed a lot more of his buildings. Uh, Eco, he got more stone than me. Technology, he got to every age first. And he got to Imperial Age about five minutes before me. So he got a significant lead into Imperial Age. Now this is what killed him. Uh, his lack of aggressiveness and also my high village account. So I pretty much had more villages than him the whole game and that massive villager lead meant even though he had the better units and the better composition, I could still sort of just rope-a-dope him until he ran out of gold and then ran over him in the end. Timeline, you get pretty much what you'd expect from the game you just watched. Not a lot of army until Castle Age, and then there was a little bit of army, not much action, then Imperial Age happened, and from there the game was won. Anyway, have a lovely day, see you next time, like and subscribe!